Okay, in this video I'm going to quickly show you how to correct the stretching deformation problems that can come up when you begin to utilize the tile features found in the alpha menu for ZBrush 4. You'll notice if I utilize a drag rectangle stroke with a square alpha, and again this is a circle shape, but the width and height are square, it'll maintain the overall aspect ratio of that alpha pattern. If, however, I increase the horizontal tiles, and the vertical tiles, the resulting alpha is no longer proportionate. It gets stretched. We can correct this by utilizing the new feature found in the stroke menu, which is the roll distance. So if you go into your stroke menu, make sure that you have either a freehand or a dotted stroke, and you'll see this roll distance option. Roll distance is effectively a scalar on the height of our alpha. If we set that to 0.5, our alpha would be half as high as it normally is. If we set it to 0.25, it's one quarter of its original height. We can utilize the fact that the roll distance allows us to scale the proportions of our alpha to help correct this bad deformation. So in a case like this, in order to correct the deformation, we simply need to take the vertical tiles amount and divide that by the horizontal tiles amount. That will give us the actual number we need in the roll distance to correct the deformation problems. So in this case, we'll take two We'll divide that by 7. Again, that's because my vertical is 2 and my horizontal is 7. The resulting number, 0.285, can be placed into roll distance. When you utilize the drag rectangle stroke over it again, you'll notice it now maintains the proper proportion that you might expect. 